Okay, it's Friday. Uh, I spent 143 on everything you see here, and actually I'm really kind of happy with uh, my shopping for today. Normally I don't find that much on Fridays, but I found a lot of the stuff I like to buy. I found games, uh, which has been unusual for me to find. I found um, CDs, which I always like. DVDs, um, not, not, not really any uh, decorative collectibles, really, uh, but I, I got some cassettes. Uh, I'm going to start, the first sale I went to, I spent 110 bucks. And that's where I found the games and everything else. The rest was just random CDs. Uh, one was even an NSA sale. But uh, I'm going to go through the games. And I, it was just like, after that, I found no more games. Uh, that's the way it works. You go to the first sale, you find games, blah, blah, blah. And that's what I found. I'm, oh, tomorrow I'm going to be selling out the Meadowlands. Um, you know, I, I, Sunday, it looks like it's out. Got to make some money. I've been spending a lot. Uh, so if you go into the Meadowlands, I'll be there, all right? Uh, I'll start with, with this. Um, I got a Sony PlayStation 1. Who cares? That's that's not a big deal for me. Uh, I'm going to give that straight to my friend. I It's it's incomplete. I don't know if it works. Uh, but this is better. But, again, of course, um, Sega Saturn. Hard to find in the field. This one looks pretty clean. Um, let's see. Open. I have no power. No... Uh, cables I have no controllers for this so I'm gonna basically give this to my friend to test and then I don't think he has extra stuff for it so he may sell it if it's working as uh, an incomplete working unit but that's probably the most rare and most interesting thing I would have found today and oh for the Sony I paid like Jesus uh, for the PlayStation I paid um, three dollars for the Saturn I think I paid three dollars so at the first sale everything was cheap everything almost everything was like a dollar so uh, I'll go through the old school games first. And this was, again, a, a surprise to find. Oh, I, I forgot about that. Okay. It looks like a Batman uh, game. I don't remember exactly which one. Sega Genesis. And all this stuff was a dollar, okay? Um, EX, EFX Collectibles, Marvel. And this is Captain America. I have no clue what this is. Uh, I was joking with my wife. Yeah, maybe it's a condom, but who knows? Here's a game I... Okay, a couple of the games in this box were games I never heard of. So I was like, ooh, maybe they're worth more money, but nah. Um, this one's called DJ Boy. On Amazon, it starts off at like less than a dollar, so it must not be a very good game. Uh, Body Harvest. Never heard of this game, right? Uh, on e I'm sorry, on Amazon, again, it starts off at eight, which means it should be worth 12 or more dollars. I don't know. I mean, I'll look at a better... It's hard for me to check my phone when I'm out in the field. But I never heard of that game. I thought it would be, like, uh, unusual. Then, like, again, for a dollar, NBA, Court Strike, All-Star Baseball 99. That's games you, you really only want to pay a dollar for. Ready to Rumble Boxing, that's pro uh, less than $10, I think. W. Duff Attitude, Get It, should be less than $10. Uh, it's between 5 and 8 I'm imagining. Beatles Adventure Racing, that's definitely uh, should be less than $10. NFL 95 Sega Sports, that's a common game, I'm positive. Uh, here's one that you don't see around much Nickelodeon ah 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 I don't know I don't scream too well uh, real monsters oh, and this is probably the first or second most valuable Donkey Kong 64 that should be a 15 20 dollar game I, I haven't had it in so long I don't even know you know but again everything in the box a buck a piece um, I got Advance Wars I don't remember what that one's worth and then I got a Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories both for the Game Boy Advance so that's that, and uh, I'll take this out, I'll do that later. So that's the old school games I got. Get out of the way, all right. Um, continuing on with games, there were some PlayStation 1 games. PlayStation demo disc, but again, everything was a dollar, so I was just like grabbing whatever. Commandos 2, I'm not really sure what this game is worth, you know. Uh, Smackdown 2 should be like 4 to 5 or $6 game. Here's one I never heard of, Dragon Valor. I don't know if that means it'll be worth something or more or whatever, but, you know, I've never heard of it. Spider-Man, uh, Twisted Metal 4, maybe that's an 8 or $10 game. And then uh, here's one, I, again, I never heard of, Valkyrie Profile. Um, I see the manual. Okay, it looks complete. I just got to fix the case, which isn't a problem. On this one, Dragon Valor. You know, it's like when I never see these. Yeah, this one looks complete too. When I never, when I see titles I never heard of, I'm always like, oh, maybe they're worth a little bit more than your regular titles. But it's not always the case. So who knows? 
I'll find out later. I'm not actually... Stuff like this I have to test. I'm not even going to take it out tomorrow, you know. All right, continuing on with the sale where I got so lucky and I found everything for like a dollar or whatever. I even see that even that, even that, that fabric uh, uh, jacket thing or hoodie. My wife paid like two bucks for that. Um, I normally don't buy software, um, but this was The Hobbit. And it's, it looks like the old Hobbit. Like there was a, they made a TV animated uh, sh um, movie way back, I don't know when. I barely remember, but I think it was like in the 90s. I'm looking for the date on this. Windows 98. I mean, it was a long time ago, um, before they made the real movies. So maybe that was based on it, because that looks like the character from it. Um, continuing on with games that I got, um, a lot of PS2 games. Ultimate Alliance, 007, X-Men, Rise of the Apocalypse. Hulk, this is probably like a $10 to $15 game. Tenchu, Punisher is probably a $10 game. Here's another one I never heard of, Front Mission 4. Beats me. Dirge of Cerebus, C Cerebus. I think I've heard of this. I don't think it's worth that much. It looks like it should be worth more, but I don't think it is. Kingdom Hearts, Resident Evil, uh, Black, Spider-Man, SmackDown versus Raw. Again, these are games I only paid a buck a piece for, which is unusual for me to find at all. Um, got even more stuff from her sale. Uh, this says Dopakin Kingdom for the Wii, but it's actually a PS3 game called Beyond Two Souls. And that one. Then I got a, a sealed Star Wars Connect, a sealed Connect Adventures, a sealed Connect Adventures, a sealed Connect Adventures. I don't think that really makes them very valuable, but I'm just going to put them on Amazon. I, they wouldn't buy them from me at the flea market. Just Dance 3, Connect, Indiana Jones, and Kung Fu Panda. That's probably like a 4 or $5 in Conan. Hard to sell game, probably five dollars. But at a dollar, who cares? Rock Band three, another sealed, sealed, another sealed Star Wars Connect Adventures. So um, these would be very easy for me to list on Amazon. And uh, finishing up, Just Dance Kids two. All right. Some of these I might. I mean, these are DS games mostly, except for the sealed ones. So I'll probably just take some of those out tomorrow. All right. Uh, same sale. I got CDs. I got some what looks like contemporary kind of metal. You know, I'm not familiar with all these bands, but I I want to uh, add new music to what I have. So I got one called Eyes of Fire. I've heard of Alkaline Trio, uh, but I'm not sure their music is Tool. Everybody knows Tool. Here's a Nirvana album I haven't had. So I'm going to put it on my iPod then sell it. Incubus, System of a Down. Danzig 3. I like Danzig. I'm going to put them on my iPod. The Cure. I am a fan of The Cure. Rob Zombie. Rob Zombie. Hot Damn. The Duskfall. Di Diron Gray. Withering to Death. Um, Darkest Hour. Deliver Us. Adore. Fozzy. Oh, Happenstance. <laughs> Fozzy, Fozzy Bear, um, Bleeding Through, The Truth, Slayer, I know, uh, System of a Down, I've heard, this is, I don't know the CD, and they might be missing one, um, but it's, it's music from Lunar 2, I don't know if it was a game, or, I took it for a dollar, you know, whatever, I'll give it to my friend, As I Lay Dying, Shadows, Motley Crue, Marilyn Manson, Corn, Trivium, and Trivium, Trivium, System of a Down. I'm, I'm familiar with, with most of these, uh, otherwise they're new music. Continuing on from this dollar sale, I got the stack of DVDs. Um, Tremors, Attack Pack. This has all the Tremors movies. I don't know if you ever heard of them, but there's these giant worms that if you make any movements or noise, they eat you. 21 Jump Street, the new one, pretty good. Fast and Furious, uh, A Sticky, The Exorcist. Um, role Models, Odd Life of Timothy Green, about the boy who's a freaking plant or something. Um, double Feature, Sealed, Kicking and Screaming, Big Fat Liar, this is funny. Dark Shadows, a not very good um, tribute or remake of the Dark Shadows series starring Johnny Depp. Ultraviolet, pretty good movie, um, if you're familiar with the um, old animation. 
Twilight and uh, Twilight Breaking Dawn Part One. I don't know for a dollar. I had bought so much good stuff. I'm like whatever. Liam Neeson taking Shadow Shallow Hell. If you haven't seen this movie, see this movie. It's, it's freaking funny. Uh, Kevin Hart, a tribute to Kurt Cobain. Oh, this is probably. I don't know if it's Kurt Cobain music, but whatever. I'll check it out. Snatch, really good movie. Hot and fluffy. If you like comedy, it's sealed. Um, two more Gabriel Iglesias. Did I say Iglesias? Iglesias. Yeah, not... What's his name? Iglesias. Uh, Julio Iglesias. It's Gabriel Iglesias. Um, Ernest. Ernest goes to camp. Ernest scares stupid. Ernest goes to jail. Probably a lot of rape jokes in that. Um, but this is sealed, and this is, um, if anybody remembers Ernest, uh, he was like a heavy smoker and died of cancer many years ago. Super bad. Um, Adam Sandler, four movie collections. Click, Big Daddy, 51st Date, and, and Mr. Deeds. Four mediocrely good movies. Uh, Jersey Girl, I don't know why I got that. That was a terrible movie. He got game, Young Den younger Denzel Washington. Let Sleeping Corpses Lie. This one looks like a, a classic 70s horror or something. King Kong, Seal Promo, Who Cares? Uh, Gran Turismo, Bella Lugosi, Dracula. This looks like some kind of movie set. So, whatever. I got these. These are like anime. Uh, Vampire Hunter D, Bloodlust. Blood and another uh, Vampire Hunter D Special Edition. Kevin Hart, I'm... A grown little man. The Goonies. Classic late 80s movie. Incubus. Turtles movie collection. Stuff like this I'm going to take to game cons. Cabin in the Woods. Lake Plastic. Classic uh, monster horror movie set in a lake from, I guess, the 90s. Hancock. Cat Williams. He's, he's that comedian with the weird voice. Him, I guess? Video collection 19... I don't know what that says. I'm assuming it's some kind of music. Live from Long Beach Green. Okay. Um, that's almost everything I got from that sale. Besides that hoodie. And then I got this. This is a Marvel... Um, Venom... Mug. Uh, that was like $2. So, stuff like this. I'll price it. And I'll take it to the game... Uh, not the game con. But they also have another convention that I can go to. It's called um, it's called uh, ToyCon. It's in the same place. So, all right. So that's everything for a dollar. Uh, let me just do this stuff. My wife bought a lipstick for the kid. And in this bag, I don't know if you can see them, but these are 14 karat gold and uh, it looks like coral, but I don't know if it's really coral earrings. All right. Now. Um, I bought CDs at different yard sales, so I did all that stuff. I bought CDs at different yard sales. This I bought at an estate sale, and they had a lot of, there was a lot, I would have got a lot more, because they told me they were only charging a buck a piece, right? But there were a lot of empties and really scuffed up. So anyway, I got Megadeth, Greatest Hits, ZZ Top, Greatest Hits, Billy Joel, I always buy Billy Joel, he's a Jersey, I'm a Jersey, Megadeth, Metallica, Megadeth, I'm going to start putting all the Metallica on my, um, my computer so for my iPod, Rush 2112. Rush 2112. I don't know if this is a 1 2. Mm, they must just be different printings. Yeah, okay. Oh, Mega Death. The original Grease. Everybody knows all these songs. Boston. Uh, Tom Petty. ZZ Top. Again, Billy Joel. Mega Death. Mega Death. Beach Boys. Mega Death. Megadeth, and I got a Beatles. It's in their own worlds. A ro words, a rockumentary. Um, things we said today. Talking with the Beatles. The Lost Beatles interviews. John Lennon forever. Dark Horse. There may not be any music on this. It's just interviews, but you know, still kind of cool. I paid a buck a piece for each disc, so I'm five into it. We'll see what it sells for. I'll just have to tell people it's not music. Okay, Nirvana. Nirvana. Bing Crosby for the people who like oldies. Duke Ellington, Duke Ellington, Minnie Ripperton. And then I got this guy. He's uh, Ritmo Caliente, Machito, <laughs> and his Afro Cubans. I don't know. This looks like uh, 
Let's see. Afro-Cuban music. It, this is interesting. I paid four bucks because there's four discs in there. All right, I did this, I did this, I did that. Uh, I'm going to finish up now. Okay, at one sale I went to, this lady had this. I don't know if anybody knows what this is, but this is a little kittle. These are very rare and, and kind of desirable. Um, this one was never open. Uh, it's still under its tape. The case has, the egg case has a crack in it. Um, but otherwise the doll, doll looks really good. I don't know what this is worth. It could be worth $20. It could be worth 30 It depends. You know, condition and things like that matter. Um, but what's funny about this lady is I was talking to another lady. I go, yeah, I buy CDs. I buy DVDs. I buy video games. So the lady goes in the house and she gets CDs, right? So I'm telling the first lady, yeah, I buy uh, CDs. I pay a dollar for the ones I want. Sometimes I'll pay two if I really want it, blah, 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 blah. So I go to the lady. And she goes, here, I bought these CDs. So I go, okay, I'll look at them. I make like a nice stack, right? So um, she goes, oh, uh, what do you pay for those CDs, right? And I go, oh, I pay like a buck a piece. And she's like, oh, uh, then put them down. I'm like, uh, okay. And I couldn't get a sense of what she wanted for them. But what uh, basically she said, oh, I'm probably going to put them away because I guess she wasn't ready to part with them. But it was just funny how she did it. It's like, okay, put them down. Like, hey, get out of here. You know, it's like, who even cares? There weren't even good ones. They were like, like old, ah, whatever. I'm, I'm not going to do that stuff. Okay. Um, at another sale, I bought these three tiki mugs. These aren't old. They're made in China. But people who like tiki would probably give me a few bucks a piece for them, at least. You know, I'll try, I'll go like three dollars, two for five. <sighs> Maybe, four, I don't know. I paid a buck a piece for them. I'm three dollars in. As long as I make more than three dollars, it's fine. And if someone who likes the stuff is happy, great. Um, they also had, they had a stack of CDs, but it's a bunch of like relaxation music, blah, blah, blah. And I have a hard time selling that stuff. Um, but they did have a Book of Love Burt Backrack collection. This is for the guys who like oldie stuff. Um, the last sale that, where I bought anything, I bought a bunch of cassettes. Uh, cassettes, they were selling for 25 cents a pop. I didn't even check them. It was like, eh, who cares? I'll check them later. Uh, mostly, I, I'm going to bring these out and sell them at the flea market. <sighs> Probably anywhere from one to two dollars, three for five, something like that. But I'm going to start off at two, three for five. Bruce Spinks, Bruce Springsteen, um, Grateful Dead, skeletons from the closet. Grateful Dead, American Beauty, Jimi Hendrix, the ultimate experience. They had a bunch of ACDC, so I'll come back to this. Cream, uh, classic rock guitar. Uh, Miles Davis, if you like jazz, ACDC, ACDC, ACD. I'm gonna, I'll do all the ACDC in one shot. They got a bunch of ACD. Steely Dan Gold, The Clash. I like The Clash. If you don't know who The Clash are, then you don't know nothing about music. Um, Jimi Hendrix, but they're like a punk band and they rock. Oh, here's another Grateful Dead. Um, Terrapin Station. And Bear's Choice, History of the Grateful Dead, Volume 1. All right, uh, then I got a, bar, a few Bob Marley. The Whalers, Bob Marley and the Whalers, Burning. Uh, Jimi Hendrix, Smash Hits. I already showed The Clash. Here's uh, another Bruce Springsteen, one of his very first albums, Darkness on the Edge of Town. And here's all the ACDCs. Uh, High Voltage, Back in Black, uh, Highway to Hell, Blow Up Your Video, ACDC. If you want blood, you got it. Uh, ACDC, Dirty Deeds, Done Dirt Cheap. That's a pretty awesome album. Uh, they got big balls on it. That's a, a crazy funny song, if you've never heard it. And then ACDC, Who Made Who. That's it. That's all I got today. Uh, tomorrow, I'll walk around the Meadowlands. To be honest, I don't expect to get anything good. Um, I might buy some random stuff. Um, Sunday, I was supposed to go this to the street fair. I don't even remember where it was now. Maybe it's Kenilworth or something. But um, you can check the JC schedule if you want to know for sure. But the thing is, the weather's really iffy for Sunday. So I figured, ah, I'll do Saturday. I'll blow off Sunday. I'll just maybe go shopping and just relax or whatever. But that's it. That's it for today. If you're going to the Meadowlands, I guess I'll see you tomorrow.